So I thought I would revisit the uh, Elman Command Center overclocking utility. And I decided to do an intelligent overclock and see how smart it supposedly really is. As you can see, it didn't touch the core voltage. It put the cash ratio at 50 and the core multiplier at 50. So I'm going to show you some numbers here and what's going on. You have to excuse me, this is on my iPhone camera. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to load a test here. I'll just use CPU Z. I've got AI to 64 with the stats, temps and all that voltage. So you think, oh, it's amazing, 5.1 gigahertz, right? Well, when you actually see what it's doing, you're going to see it's nowhere near that. So hold on a second here, let me get the benchmark. And this is, again, with the CPU Z. And we'll go to CPU Z, and the actual overclock is only 4.6. You'll see it right here on the cores. It's not even coming close to holding at 5.1, which I knew there's no way it would do that, anyways. So. Here's some of the temperatures. So it's peaking at about 87, taps 90 every once in a while, but more or less really high 80s. And again, that's at 4.6. Now that's just CPU Z. Now hold on a second, I'm going to open up another benchmark here. Now I'm going to go with Cinebench R20. And the numbers are just all over the place, the cores. It does not hold even at 4.6. It just bounces all over the place. You'll see when I start it. So I'm going to hit run. And then here we go. And then throw this up here. And throw this. And... see that's at 45 42 44 43 here's some of the temps up here 87 See Ida sixty four. It's at forty four, forty three. I'll just go ahead and let it finish the test. almost done. As you can see it's still bouncing all over the place. Nowhere near or even close to 5 gigs. It can't even hold 4.7 or 4.6. At least in this test. 
And then what I'm gonna do is I'll close all this open home and command center again now once it done the overclock it said it, it gave a score of 2577 now when you run the actual benchmark again that score is going to be way lower And here's the result. As you can see, 2185. It's lower than stock. So this thing, this thing is a liar, this whole thing. It's, it's just, it's just fake. It's fake overclocking. And HP tries, you know, to trick people into think that, oh, you're actually overclocking. To a degree, sure. Even with the intelligent overclock, like I said, the it, it puts the core and cash ratio at these high numbers. But as you can see, uh, CPU Z was at 4.6 hanging on. But when you get into other programs, you know it it it, it fluctuates all over the place. So I don't know you know, what HP, you know, what they're trying to pull with, uh, with customers. And my machine has the 8700K, and I'm running the latest Omen uh, software. And to show you, I'm running the latest, hold on, let me go to it here. the latest command center SDK package, which is right here. So everything's up to date. As you can see, I'll even show you Omen command center version right there, 10.2.1. 14.0 So I just thought I would revisit this and try it out and see if anything has changed and yes I'm running the latest BIOS on my machine So any anyone with a newer one that has like a 9700K 10700K um, try the intelligent overclocking and just see how dumb it really is and the trickery that it's providing to you. It's not even actually overclocking the way it's supposed to. And don't even try to adjust the core voltage because it's not going to do anything. It makes no difference. It's just a fake slider. Pretty much everything's fake in this app. So if you guys have any more questions, just let me know. Okay, bye.